You will require a pasture pipette and bulb, your solvent, your crystals that you will repurify, an Erlmeyer flask, one or two, or a beaker and an Erlmeyer flask, as well as a hot plate. In addition, you will need tweezers, a spatula, a glass stir rod with rubber policemen, the Buckner funnel filtering apparatus, a watch glass, filter paper, and a nice bath. Plug in the hot plate. Now you want to pipette some of your solvent into the beaker. Place the solvent beaker and Erlmeyer flask containing the crystals onto the hot plate. Now turn up the heat to just below the boiling point of the solvent. Once near the boiling point, you need to pipette slowly and in small quantities the solvent directly into the crystals until fully dissolved. Once fully dissolved, you need to remove this from the hot plate. Start by turning off the hot plate and removing the crystals. Let them stand and cool to room temperature. Once it is room temperature, you need to place this into an ice bath for a couple minutes. Next, add your filter paper to the Buckner funnel apparatus, and using cold solvent, you need to wet the filter paper. This is important, and not using water, otherwise your crystals might redissolve. Take your flask with the crystals in them, and using a glass stir rod, slowly pour them into the middle of the filter paper, ensuring that none of them spill out to the sides of the Buckner funnel. Once finished, you will need to re-rinse the inside of the Erlmeyer flask with the cold solvent to remove any trapped crystals along the inside of the glass. Again, using the glass stir rod, Assure that all the crystals pile around the middle of the filter paper. If time sparing, you need to rinse off your crystals using your cold solvent. This will remove any impurities trapped on them. Once finished with this, you need to wait a couple of minutes for the crystals to dry. Once you remove them from the Buckner funnel apparatus, it should look something like this.